the stock, as you can see here, has been down, uh, has been on three straight days of losses. This clarity could actually help the heavyweight conglomerate rebound uh, later on today. The stock is currently trading at about 800 pesos flat and less than 30 minutes before the open. Reg, back up to you. The finance department wants regulators to solve unreasonable insurance premiums and make sure consumers that need protection the most can afford it. Beverly Natividad has the story. Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez wants regulators to look more closely into vehicles and home insurance premiums. Insurance coverage in these areas often involve unreasonable premiums. The best way to ensure fair premium charges is to make the market as competitive and com contestable as possible. Dominguez says the insurance commission should ensure that premiums are fairly priced and go after unscrupulous firms that may be tweaking actuarial computations to overcharge buyers. When premiums are overcharged, the costs of the products could be pushed beyond the reach of most consumers who need the protection these products otherwise bring. The finance chief said regulators have the primary purpose of protecting consumers, citing previous company failures that have eroded trust in pre-need products. Rebuilding the public's faith in insurers is also timely, as demand is expected to rise as the economy continues to grow. I'm just reminding them that their job is to essentially protect the public. And they are protecting the public by making sure that those who are taking the money of the public are charging them the right amount and are investing it in safe investments so that those who are saving uh, can actually benefit from them. I'm not identifying any particular company, but just reminding them that this is their main job. It's really protection of the public. Higher capitalization requirements have been mandated to ensure company viability, and the Commission is also looking into new rules on financial reporting, valuations, and investments. Dominguez says regulatory efforts have made the local insurance sector stronger, with assets rising 21.27 percent to 1.32 trillion in 2016 from a year ago. In 2015, the industry also contributed 19.38 billion pesos in premium taxes to national coffers. This means uh, the percentage of premiums generated from the insurance industry compared to the GDP. It's 1.75. Uh, it's a, it has been increasing the past uh, several years. It continues to increase. It was 1.5 three or four years ago. And we foresee that with the continued growth of the Philippine GDP, it will continue to increase. The commission says take-up continues to improve but is still low compared to other ASEAN countries. In terms of life insurance, for example, just 41.27% of Filipinos were covered as of 2015, although this is an improvement from 18.29% four years earlier. Technology helped drive this growth but also raised new challenges for regulators. Beverly Natividad, Bloomberg TV, Philippines.